It's Silvana from All Serve Snell Learning, and today we're going to be building a formatter um, to display on a table. So technically, what it will look like is um, something like this. For example, an incident if a um, record is submitted through the portal, um, it will go ahead and display. Um, on the incident form and um, this is what it will look like. So <clears throat> let's go ahead and jump into it um, on how to do this. First things first that we have to do is we have to go ahead and create um, a tab for it. For example, in this case, intake, uh, intake tab was created. So, but um, just show, show you how that's done. Um, we'll go to the hamburger menu configuration form layout, and um, we are in the default view, and we will scroll down here. Here's our intake tab, uh, tab but, but we can, um, for the demo purposes, let's create another one called the uh, form um, and <clears throat> we'll click OK on this uh, for now and um, once uh, we have uh, the let's go ahead and see if this can be saved it probably can but it's just going to be empty so right now this piece of information is missing and it's not included in this. So what we need to do is create our formatter. So we will go to uh, uh, system UI formatters and I have already created one Uh, called intake form and to show you just um, how I did it is I just clicked the new button and gave it a name that I would later that I will later go ahead and um, use uh, to pull it into the tab so I gave it an intake form name and this is the piece of information that you need to add. Um, and what it is, is you type in com, C-O-M, un, um, underscore, glide app, underscore, question set, underscore, default, underscore, question, underscore, editor. And then you select the table where you want it to display as the type you select formatter and click the active <clears throat> which is I think by default activator already and then you save this so remember the name intake form so next thing that you do is you will go to your incident um, I believe it was this one yep and um, now we have to add the intake form to this tab. So how we're going to do that is go back to configure, layout, and now we will look for uh, intake form. So let's go intake form. Here it is. And we have to select form. So let's go ahead and cancel this, refresh it. So the tab we want to put this under is under form. So let's go ahead and look. Intake form, move it over, and it's on form. So let's go ahead and save it. All right, still there's nothing there. The reason why is because we have to actually go in and um, submit uh, something from the portal. So I've already submitted something here for testing formatter. 
Um, but let's go ahead and submit another one. Um, like create incident. So this specific form, um, so it has to go to the, it has to be a record producer and it has to go to uh, the same table. So, um, uh, well, it doesn't have, it can be also a catalog item, but it has to go to the same uh, table, it has to be on the same table. Um, so we'll just go ahead and select urgency as medium. So um, let's go ahead and submit this. Okay, and our record number is this. So let's go to incident. Let's see, here it is, 02. All right. Oh, it's probably because it's talking to this one. Okay, let's go ahead and see if we can. Um, so what happened is because both of these are the same, I'm thinking I didn't want to do it. <coughs> Form. So intake, intake has the same. Let's remove it from intake and just keep it up. So intake now is empty and we just have it on in have it on the form tab. Let's go ahead and save that and try submit it again. So intake we remove the and now form has it. So it was just a duplicate. Um, so it actually went and the, um, added it to intake um, and it avoided form. So uh, let's go ahead and submit another one. So create incident. Okay. Let's go to this one, and there it is. So that's how you add um, the formatters to um, the forms. And it could be any table. Just remember that one piece of information that you need to put in here in order to create uh, the formatter and set the type as the formatter. And remember the name so that you can later on pull the name um, into the tab like we did here. I hope this helped. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.